Hey guys, today I want to talk about a very interesting topic. It is the planeswalkers. The planeswalkers currently in standard, the large majority of them are around $5, some of them even less than $5. And the crazy part is this is what we can look forward to and this is why a lot of people are playing EDH casual formats because it is incredibly cheap to get these planeswalkers. But if you're playing standard, why not just play ed So Planeswalkers have for a long time been this mythic, um, this, these ex incredibly expensive cards. We look at Nyssa, Nyssa started at $22. She's currently at $5. You can get her on eBay for less than $5 quite easily. And it is a Planeswalker that saw a lot of play. This card did see play. Uh, once the meta changed, it fell out of favor. It was also printed in a dual deck. It was reprinted in a dual deck which then obviously reduced its price. But to see her at $5 for this quality of a card, pretty interesting. The other card from Oath of the Gatewatch is Chandra. Chandra was a $20 card at one time, $30 card at one time. As you can see, she actually went up in price, hitting $30 right after Shadows over Innistrad released. A lot of people were hyping this card up, probably to, you know, because they owned a lot of them. And now it's $5. It's actually less money than Nissa, which is reprinted. Pretty crazy to see it at $5. Talking about $5 Planeswalkers, uh, Shadows Over Innistrad had Sorin. Sorin started extremely high at around $22. They all kind of start at $22 or $30 and then just decline like crazy. So fascinating because when you think of Planeswalkers, you think of a highly valuable card, you think of a highly tradable liquid asset, and everyone's happy to get a Planeswalker. But now getting a Planeswalker means you basically don't even pay for the pack if you were to trade it in for the store. We're going to look at some recent Planeswalkers that haven't yet dropped as much because time period, the time for Nyssa to drop was far less. This card came out came out at $27 and now it's $6.49. I see this card being $5 in the blink of an eye. Give it two more months, it should hit $5. And join the rest of the Planeswalkers that are $5. Another one, it's slightly under $5 eBay now and has never gone up in price, Sahili Rai. Lots and lots of hype around this card, just never got to it, never got to the point where and three months, you lose, you go from $30 to $5. That's, to me, insane. That's insanity, right? It just doesn't, it's just crazy to think about that. Wow. And next card, Arlen Cod, a flip planeswalker that began at $34, so a much higher buy-in. She's now at $7 and continuously to drop. These cards that we just mentioned will continue to drop their trend is down. Yes, if one or two of them see play in like a, a really good deck, maybe they go up. But the large majority of them still have a lot of a lot of room to go down. And they can all hit under $5, which as a Planeswalker is quite interesting. But this is the table of the set. Ob Nix list is very good. I like it. But it has become the table of the set. I think the cards are just overpowered. It did get a reprint from a dual deck which doesn't help its price, but the same, it's under $3 on eBay. That's insane. Anyway, leave me a comment below if you think this is good for the game, bad for the game, do you like it? And definitely it's great for EDH players because now you can pick up all the Planeswalkers while still in standard for largely for under $5. And then the ones that are a little over $5, you just have to wait a month or two. Anyway, that is the status of the Planeswalkers. Bye, guys.